You call that a bullet? Now that's a bullet. I apologize to every Australian out there. Hey, this is Jeff of Tal Flittermouse. Today we're going to be testing two types of Ferro Fury bullets that Michael Smith was kind enough to send us. The first type is a 73 caliber massive semi-jacketed hollow point with a weight of 716 grains. The second type, also 73 caliber, has an even larger hollow point cavity and both of these bullets are filled with ferrocerium. We'll be driving these monsters over 1600 feet per second. While these can be loaded into one of these fancy full brass old timey shells, we decided to do our tests using modern and reliable components. Doesn't look as cool on Instagram though. Welcome back top leader folks. OG, Brianna, and young Danny out here with you. I think for the first time on stage together, is this not? <laughs> it is, yeah. this is a first. And who's behind the camera? Come on, swivel that around. Jeff. Everybody wants to see you. No, I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm witness protection program. <laughs> Jeff actually has no face when he steps in front of the camera. His face is actually just a blur. Hey, today we're out here with a contribution sent by Michael Smith out of Unknown City, Idaho. Is, is that his real name? We don't know because he also comes from an unknown city in Idaho. Oh, okay. So, what's, what's the population there? Um, it's unknown. It's 123. <laughs> Michael Smith has sent the uh, Ferrocerium Ferro Fury? Fury Ferro? Yeah, yeah, something like that. Say that three times fast. I had to come up with a catchy name. Come on. Michael has sent us some slugs today packed with Ferrocerium. And in the UK, that would be called Ferocium. <laughs> And these things are essentially lighter, uh, ferrocerium is Latin for uh, lighter flints. <laughs> it's been packed into the hollow points of this cylindrical slug and then capped with wax. It's and not it's, cylindrical, it's a bullet shaped, it's a jacketed hollow point. This one looks Both like Both of them, cylinder. yeah. That They're one beautiful. looks like a bullet, but... By like Fury bullet. Custom Bullets. But that's what I was going to say. Which so, I, can't, I can't put their website because you can't do that. Right. So, meantime, we're going to put up this website right up here over Danny, and this is a website that sells uh, toilet paper and, and bottled water. <laughs> so we're gonna try and shoot these out here today. We waited around and get some reduced lighting out here so maybe we can see these spark. We're gonna try them off some different targets down range. And uh, young Brianna, young Danny are gonna fire these off. Well, you are too, we're gonna have a competition. Everybody wants a competition, yeah, 2 right. 3 they always wanted a, a shoot off. Yeah, so we're gonna see, see who's the best do. shooter based on off one shot. One shot. <laughs> Should be completely fair. Make it count. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So enough yapping. Let's get to it. Jeff, I'm sure has showed you these on the tabletop already. Yes. And people get very angry when we talk about them after you've already talked about them. So time. So we just do it more. That's right. <laughs> you got to right? have something to make YouTube viewers angry about because all the money they paid for this video. The reason I do that is because uh, people skip over things and then, then they start asking questions we already answered. So if we use you know and throw the information out there twice maybe they'll catch it once and if you guys wait till the end of this video we're going to do this whole intro all over again <laughs> to tell you all about the rule that way if you skip it you're going to get caught no matter what so all right let's do it let's do it do it even at what uh that blue laser dot gotcha okay ready ready here we go <laughs> Woo. that's a nice little ding It's because of gravity. So you were aiming at the that lucky charm up there, lucky right? Lucky charm, yeah. Wow, that's a quite a drop. But windage was perfect. No, it was uh, felt good when I pulled the trigger. I was on target. So. Well, now we know what we're so dealing we're with now, you know. So you were able to see in the high speed the flash. Oh yeah, flash. it threw sparks like ten feet out. Uh, four inch. I called it. Oh. Four and a half. Oh. Never mind. I was gonna pull out my tape measure, and then I realized I don't carry a tape measure. Uh oh, <laughs> but that's pretty cool. Left little uh, little smoke. Yeah, it's smoke marks there too. Oh, okay. good one for six inches. <laughs> and now, uh, whose turn is it now, Brianna's? Sure. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> I can't show her husband. <laughs> Camera shy. <laughs> he is. He exists, people. Uh, I was kind of surprised it sparked on the aluminum. You think the, with the ferro serum you needed steel, but apparently you don't. Flash on that one. It looked like it went high. It that high. one went high. First one shot low with Danny. First one went almost exactly the same distance low with Danny. This one, different shotgun. But 
it went high. Full rifling, of course. Yep. Both of them. Fully rifled. She was shooting an iron sighted shotgun. Danny's was a red dot. We tested Danny's before this whole shoot started, and Danny's is accurate, right? Down with here, the, with the foster slugs he sighted in with. 50 so yards. We're trying yeah. to determine whether or not those slugs have that much variation or uh, whether it's a difference in we guns. But <laughs> we got to blame something, you know? Can we blame Danny or Brianna? Or... Clearly, it's not the we'll shooter. We'll be blaming you. are next, yeah, right? Yeah, right. It's best to blame <laughs> OG if you can. Yeah. And you can. But his face was blasted with sparks. You couldn't, we couldn't really see that in real time because it occurred so fast. But yeah. he was blasted. Shark, shark, shark. I'm surprised his glasses aren't broken. They flew off. Yeah. Down on the ground. So that was awesome. Douglas caught it in the face. Yep. Turned him into a bobblehead there. <laughs> yep. Well, I'm gonna try the same shotgun that Brianna shot. I'm gonna hold the exact same point of aim. What do you want to shoot at? Oh, shoot at something different. Well, you want to shoot at that again? Let's shoot it at again because it was so cool. On this, Maybe he'll this catch on fire. Train. <laughs> That's a cool shirt you got there, Greg. Oh, it surely is. This is the uh, OG's Danger Store covert gear, Jeff. You buy OG's Danger Store merch, you will be invisible to women by this evening. <laughs> okay. Works out perfect. Um, all right, I'm going to hold the same shotgun on the same blue dot. We're going to see where they hit. Okay. I'm ready when you are. All right, here we go. I think that was on. Why you gotta do me like that? Well, I gotta say Greg was closest so far, but we got some inconsistent rounds. Anyway, we had uh, blue tape about here. Greg hit right here. Yeah, he did good. He didn't. He didn't adjust or anything. He didn't make any adjustments or anything. Look at this. And then, uh, yeah, it's something fragment broke his glasses. Oh, Doug, Mr. Yeah. Mr. Brianna found the lens blown out of this and shattered all over the ground. So we want to see that one in the high speed. See that lens Unless it broke when it hit the ground. I don't know. I think it, it was shattering on the it, 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 We usually talk about there. this and it's like, oh, it broke some other way. We're, after we're like, well, that, oh, obviously a bullet fragment hit him in the that's face. That's editing's for. You can cut all of this or shit out. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Especially because I said or shit. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Danny's gonna show us his bushcrafting method of starting a fire in a, in a blizzard when he's camping, right? <laughs> but if he does that, what's he gonna do know for what toilet paper? Oh, well, wouldn't you rather be warm? Okay, <laughs> this is are true. you ready? We'll ignite the toilet paper. Use some snow. <laughs> An icicle. Or a squirrel. Okay, I'm ready. All right, here we go. Well, no flameage. I guess it doesn't work. I can't believe it didn't light though. As many sparks, you can see. You that's, can that's the California blend. That's a summer blend you had left over. <laughs> We're more, special. More sparks I don't there than that, a that, commercial. I can't believe it didn't light. It was. It was just it occurred so fast. It just. It sucked all the oxygen out of the atmosphere, uh, the Cori Coriolis effect. Right. Maybe we can put it out with a shot. Oh, see, now you're thinking. <laughs> well, folks, since we couldn't light the toilet paper, obviously the next logical step in what we're going to do would be it's science. to light the toilet paper and then see if shooting it will put the fire out. It'll okay. suck. Logic. The heat out of it yeah. from the sure. shock wave. Okay, is the flame confusing you or anything? <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Oh, 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 so I just transferred the fire to a different location. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you, can still get, you can still save that and use that. I just peel, it's like a marshmallow. You just take off the burnt part. We're using the new, the big mouth ones now. We tried all the red pills. Now we're going to try the blue pills. Which one's way too small. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to send these. These have 25% more ferrocerium. 
So, uh, so, so I've read. We're hoping for a bigger splash. But will splash? they spark on a lead plate? You, you wouldn't think anything would spark off lead. You know what, though? Every one of your rounds, or quite a few of your rounds, spark off of a lead plate, though. That's true. Even it's some skills. kind of a scientific flash. Atmospheric. It's our special lead plate. Yeah, right? it's hardened lead. But we don't know where these are going to hit, if they're going to impact the yeah, same we, place. Yeah, we're, so. we're, we're coming up with excuses before we shoot it, so that's... <laughs> right. Okay, I'm ready. All right, I'm going to try and put it on a blue dot. Holy crap, you, flash you hit the it. blue dot. <laughs> Looks like Greg is winning the competition today. That can't be, Jeff, because everybody knows for years and years and years. Oh, gee, Greg can shoot. shoot. Can't shoot. That's the, that's his... However, the tape was up here. The tape is no longer here. We have a piece of torn tape here. I thought I saw a flash. Out here there was a the lot back. of sparkage on that one. But you guys by now will have seen where that flash actually was. Mm -hmm. We did find uh, a warm piece of splattered the, jacket. The, yes. So that's definitely it, because those, the the ones with the big mouth, had that red stripe on there, and the other ones had the blue stripe. So Brianna's going to take this and try to make this into like a belly button ring or something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do with that thing. The ring. You can make it into a necklace. I say. It, a little pendant. It just doesn't look the same on me. <laughs> anyway, but uh, made a decent crater nonetheless, and uh, evidently we got some sparks out of it. Yeah, it's it's kind of hard to see the, all the full sparkage in well, real life. The cool thing is you have the camera that will show us yes. the full sparkage. And it is, it's, it's actually kind of dark out here. I can't run the camera too fast. But here's the question for viewers. Did you notice 25% more sparks with this round than the previous round? I... I think I did 25, maybe 26. 26 percent more. Wow, <laughs> yeah. you got a little extra in the package then. That's right. Some settling may occur during shipping. So, <laughs> anyway, so uh, yeah, they got a, a stout recoil on them, and uh, they're flashing like they're supposed to. So. Yeah, and that one was dead on accurate. I mean, these are more accurate. I don't know. These are they're a little shorter. They're stubbier. <laughs> shorter and stubbier, <laughs> like the bulge back here that oh, we, Brianna was. Had pointed out. Oh, okay. Let's see what. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just stating facts. Okay. Brianna's the one who brought up the fact that there was a slight bulge back here. So. Okay. Okay, you ready, Danny? I'm ready. Using B open sights now or steel sights, right? Open steel. <laughs> yeah, open steel sights. Yeah. Okay, I'm ready. All right, here we go. Ooh. Wow. That was a splash. Ooh. Ooh, that shower. Oh, sparks. So right on the chin. A little bit low. Yeah, got him on the chin, though. Using the same point of aim, same shooter, but two different brands of shotguns, we wanted to see the difference between the point of impact between this Remington 870 and Danny's Mossberg 500. And one tended to shoot high, one tended to shoot low. Probably slightly different barrel harmonics between the two. But honestly, to get anything really conclusive, we'd have to take many more shots to compare the two. Well, that 720-ish uh, grains of lead shot has to go somewhere. Seven, All, at least 715 grains of it are on the ground. Yeah. yeah. Just like it's designed to be. Yeah. This guy looks like he has a little... Look at it. Looks just well, like Danny. Tried, tried to give him a tactical beard. He looks just like, like Danny. <laughs> of course, he needs, a, he needs a tactical hat. Look at this. He, the artist in, in... We never show him doing the artistry. What? But Greg uh, is a professional-ish artist. Well, I don't know if you call it professional, but... Well... Oh. Danny Tat. <laughs> and now he's got Danny's... Uh, Technical goatee. Okay, now, okay, Mr. Artist. That's pretty good. Um, let's see where Greg lands it. So Danny's shotgun obviously uh, fitted for him a lot better. He hit right here on the chin as opposed to using my shotgun way up there. So now I'm going to get back on my gun and see if uh, mm -hmm. it's actually printing accurate for me. Yeah. Okay, Greg is up. All right, are you ready? Yep, I'm ready. Here we go, hopefully on the face. Wow. Way on the face. Wow. Man. These are kind of cool. Yeah. Mountain goat. 
<laughs> we got him right in the eye. Young Danny found this hot little piece of lead laying on the ground. Okay. And one thing we were noticing, look here, like seven or eight feet out to either side. Yeah, it, 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 it looks like a bunch of 22s hit it or some pretty good puck marks there. We never stand anywhere close to steel. Yeah. Does a great job of just a little bit of angle on there. Yep. Very safe for us back there. Yeah. So we're going to put away the steel now that we know where all of our shotguns are going. We also know what these things do against a, uh, a nice piece of steel. They clearly make a flash. What's next? All right, so we got the jelly head out here. You've seen this before. It used to be inside of a piece of glass. And we've got the atomic defense Chinesium level 3A-ish uh, ballistic helmet. So. We're gonna try, are we shooting through the helmet? Is that yeah, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Try to put it into the helmet, see what it does inside the gel. If it's if it sparks without hitting steel or aluminum or lead, it's, it uh, sparks, it's been sparking on everything. Yeah, we'll see if the helmet is ferrocerium proof and uh, what it'll do to the jelly head. Give it a try. It's above that little rail. Well, let me get my helmet or my ears there. Huh? I got the, let me get the, Velcro patch, whatever. Okay. Yeah, it, it ought to go flying. You need to put a tarp down to catch it. Yeah. And get a metal detector or a thermal camera. Yeah, UV camera. Okay, I'm ready. And strap it down. Here we go. <laughs> Hopefully on the Velcro patch. Eesh. 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 That was traumatic for me and for him. My friend Sandy here didn't get hit, evidently. It could have gone right over the top of her flat head. <laughs> Look at the shape of that biscuit. Anyway, uh, no damage to the head whatsoever. <laughs> and it's not because of this lovely, lovely helmet. No, it, it stopped it. <laughs> well, it stopped it, but I don't think it would have protected your biscuit inside of it. Well, maybe a, the blunt force, but it, the slug did not go through. So the slug went, hit pretty close to where I was aiming. Yeah, hit the, I wanted you to hit the patch. And inside here, look at that big ass bulge. Just a big old bulge in there. So the round did not exit into the uh, interior of the helmet. Yeah. I guess that's a good sign, but man, look at that chunk. Yeah, that would, yeah. Would that, would you feel that? I think you would feel that. Yes, you would, Sandy says. But you'd have a beautiful corpse. Yeah, so anyway, this helmet will no longer fit on anyone, which is probably good because they're safer without it. <laughs> no, no, it, they said it'll stop certain, it said it would stop 12 gauge slugs and it technically did. It but, had, yeah, it But has. it would stop you too. Right, but it would, yeah, it would definitely stop you. Yeah, but that energy has to go somewhere, you know, 2,500 foot pounds of energy or whatever. Here's your- Oh, you're ruining that beautiful helmet. Well, here's your liner inside. This kind of gives you an idea. Oh, okay. That was a good idea, actually, Greg. Yeah, I'm full of them, Jeff. Yeah, I know. That um, actually is, is a lot better. I'm sorry I questioned you. <laughs> That's quite all right. I'm used to it. <laughs> um, this is the Kevlar fibers. You can tell them in there how, how much they buckled. If this had been your biscuit in there, oof. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, if you had a- Tiny little head, you'd be okay. All the padding in the world. So, yeah, when you're ordering these, order them five sizes too big. And lots of padding. And lots of styrofoam in here, and yeah. maybe, maybe put a sleeping bag or something over the top of your head. <laughs> but, so. tech, you know, I'm, it did. I'm impressed. It, it stopped did. it. But it stopped a slug. There's not going to be any digging in there to find out where it went. Yeah. Maybe someday I'll cut it open. <laughs> And, you know, good thing we had these bungees on there, though. Right. What would have happened if those bungees hadn't have been there? I don't know. So. Anyway, I hope you guys had a very good time with the ferrocerium red and blue. Now with 25% more ferrocerium. Yep. Danny and I signing off with you. The sun is going down out here, so we don't have much more time that we can even do this. So, appreciate you guys being with us. If you're super bored, swing by OG's Danger Show. That's right. You have a shameless, channel, don't you? Shameless plug. Yep. Nobody is coming for coming it's up to you okay so <laughs> yeah fun times over there um it's been a while since i posted a video but i've had some computer problems uh-oh you know what those are like yeah i do